Hello dear friends, here we are again. Thank you for joining me in reading through Psalm 119. And today we've come to the second paragraph, the second stanza, which is verse 9 till 16. And it corresponds with the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the letter Bet. Yesterday we had Aleph, today we have Bet. And you read for yourself these verses, you read them out loud, make sure you read them out loud. It's actually funny that the writer of this psalm uh, says in verse 13, I have recited aloud all the regulations you've given us. He, it was custom to read the psalms out loud and especially the book of Psalms, which was a prayer book for the Jewish people back then and still. Uh, read the psalms, read the word of God out loud and you will be blessed because faith comes by hearing the word of God. I stop today at verse 14, where it says, I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. Hmm. I have rejoiced in your laws, in God's laws, in his teaching, in his Torah, in his uh, regulations, as much as in riches. Well, I had to think about it, you know, when you get something, when you buy something, when somebody gives you something, when you get blessed with whatever, we're happy, we rejoice. And I wonder if we rejoice as much in the material possessions we have as we do in the word of God, because that's truly the treasure, the riches that we have and that God has given us. And I want to meditate on that today. I've rejoiced in your laws as much as in your riches. Hmm. I will study your commands and reflect on your ways. <sighs> They're really, the word of God's really a treasure to the psalmist it's a treasure to me and i hope it's a treasure to you because there's never ending eternal wisdom in the word of god and uh, we put it in our hearts we'll become wise and it will help us in life it will encourage us it will build us up and it will sustain us so hope to see you tomorrow bye